What's going on everyone? This is Luke from South Beach Sports and welcome to episode 3 of the Miami Heat offseason trade target videos. Our first two videos in this series were on Colin Sexton and Christos Porzingis. The link to that playlist will be down in the description below. And this video will be on the possibility of Miles Turner getting traded to the Miami Heat. Now before I go on with the rest of the video, I want to remind you guys to go ahead and like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We're at 119 right now and we're constantly growing, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, go comment down below your thoughts on the possibility of Miles Turner getting traded to the Heat. Miles Turner has been a name on the NBA trade block for what seems like a couple years now. There were reports in March that the Pacers were not that interested in trading Turner unless there was a major offer that blew him away. Obviously there wasn't so they decided to keep him through the deadline, but considering the Pacers underperformed this season and they fired their head coach and Nate Jorkin, they could, be looking, they could be looking to make some moves. So you may be asking yourself, Luke, why on earth would the Pacers want to move on from Miles Turner? He's a very developed big man who is a phenomenal rim protector who can also space the floor. Well, for starters, he's somewhat injury prone. He only played in 47 of 72 regular season games last year, so the Pacers might opt to place someone in that front court next to DeMontis Sabonis, who is a little more durable. You also have to look at the emergence of 3 and D forward O'Shea Brissett, who averaged 10.9 points and 5.5 rebounds per game to go along with a 42.3% clip from 3. O'Shea Brissett would provide the Pacers with more perimeter defense to go along with a more consistent 3 point shot. So this is where the Miami Heat come in. The Heat could be in market for a more conventional big man to place next to Bam Adebayo, who would then slide over to the power forward position. What we've seen over the past couple of years with Bam as a starter is the Heat opt for a stretch four type player to place next to Bam. We saw last season with Jay Crowder, and we saw this season with Trevor Ariza. I'm not saying that doesn't work, and I'm not saying that Bam Adebayo can't play the center position, but it does expose you to a lack of rebounding, and I think especially in that Bucks series, that was a huge problem that they need to fix. The Heat were last in the NBA in rebounds per game last year, so adding Miles Turner, who averaged 6.5 rebounds a game, would help so much. Not only would he help in the rebounding department, but he would also help on the offensive and defensive end. On offense, he's a moderately well three-point shooter as he shot 34% from, from three this past season. And that's exactly what you need in the center next to Bam Adebayo. Bam has yet to prove that he can consistently hit jump shots, so you really need someone who can space the floor next to him. On the defensive end, Miles Turner, like I said, is a tremendous rim protector. And I can't stress that enough, he is elite. He's probably the second best rim protector in the whole NBA, aside from Rudy Gobert, and he averaged 3.4 blocks per game last year. That would be huge considering Bam Adebayo gets switched onto the perimeter so much, and just having someone in the paint to contest shots when Bam is on the perimeter would be so huge. So Miles Turner also has a pretty decent contract. He's only owed $35 million over the next two years, so if the Heat do acquire him, they would still have cap flexibility over that time. So finally, what would a potential Miles Turner to the Heat trade package look like? Well, in this hypothetical deal, I am sending away Andre Wudala, who they would have to accept the team option for first, Preston Sachua and Tyler Hero in exchange to the Pacers for Miles Turner. Now I know some of you are not going to be happy about this, and that why would we trade Tyler Hero when we're not getting a star player in return? Let me explain. The Heat have to be in win now mode this offseason considering Jimmy Butler is entering next season at 32 years old, so he only realistically has 2-3 to three years left in his prime. In the short term, Miles Turner would provide the Heat with size, and size is probably their second biggest need aside from shot creating. We saw in last year's final series versus the Lakers and this year's first round sweep against the Bucks that they were constantly getting out rebounded pretty much every game. This is because, like I said, they switch Bam Adebayo so much on the perimeter, and they're often they're often left leaving undersized guards to go grab rebounds against bigs. So having Miles Turner, someone who's seven feet tall and can constantly be in that paint area to guard, grab rebounds would be so huge. With this trade, the Heat could also find a long-term counterpart next to Bam Adebayo if this pairing ends up working. The Heat could, could also continue to develop Miles Turner as he's only 25 and I think he still has the potential to improve. 
So that's going to be it for today, guys. I just wanted to make a shorter video explaining why I think Miles Turner would be a huge addition to the Heat, despite giving off their two biggest assets in Preston Chua and Tyler Hero. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button as well as subscribe if you're not already. Go comment down below your thoughts on the potential Miles Turner to the Heat trade. And with that being said, I'll see you later. Peace.